Fiesta Bowl <laughs> is gorgeous. What a difference those 52 degrees yeah. make. <laughs> this is Charlie Jones, Sam Retigliano as we start the second half. It is Nebraska 14 and Michigan 3. And of course today is Bowl Day on NBC. We started off as always here at the Fiesta Bowl where the sun is shining and third down and nine. So you look for Clayton to throw here. Lindstrom in motion. And it's a draw. And the ball's a fumble. Michigan has it at the 20 yard line. First turnover of the ball game. It's Michigan's ball. Jeff Akers was the man at the bottom of the stack scrambling for it. The official is the final call. comes out and uh, Colazar comes in as a wide receiver to get us to Morris. 10, 5, 3, to the yard line. 19 yards. Kevin Parsons stopped it. First down goal to go Michigan. Perryman and White are the two running backs. defense back as you see it right now excellent block watch now number 74 Mike Hussar coming over blocking Kevin Parsons 35 and Gerald White going over the top control the neutral zone go over the top for a touchdown and now the score is 14 to 10 after that fumble and now the momentum is shifting towards Michigan second and 15 Hicks is back in the secondary for Michigan another fumble and Michigan has it Moeller and Messner were going for Mesner has it. This is the new Bo Schenbeckler. No gain, second down and ten. And here's Jamie Morris. Slips the tackle. Cuts back. First down. 20 yard line. Colazar with a key block. Davis with the stop. Look for him as a Heisman Trophy candidate, maybe a year away. Now watch Morris. Now he gets a good block by his tight end, Caddis. There's a missed tackle. Now watch him upfield. Now watch John Colasar, number 40. If you block upfield, you get touchdowns instead of first downs. Excellent block by the wide receiver. 20-yard line, first down and 10. Colasar in motion. Gerald White. White to the five. Short. He needed 20 to score. They're going to give him 19. They're going to give him 19 and two feet. Perryman and White are the running backs. Two tight ends. They show motion. And the option. Fake of the pitch. Harbaugh dies. Did he make it? Yes. The ball just has to break the play. The official said that he made it. Touchdown. Michigan for Jim Harbaugh. Michigan second touchdown in three and a half minutes. By Bad Moons is good. It is Michigan 17. Nebraska 14 will be back for the kickoff. Nebraska needing now to crank up that offense. First down. A fumble, but the play may have been dead. No, the knee was down is the signal for the referee Jack Baker. Jeff Akers was there for Michigan. For Michigan. So got extra linebackers waiting for the run. Here's the pitch. Tim Scarcelli was there. Third down and 15. Michigan now with four in the secondary. They look for the pass. A little play action. Pass is complete. The ball comes loose. They're going to say no. They're going to rule it incomplete. Tom Banderas, the intended receiver, and he was shaken out. Here's the third punt for Dan Winger. And Eric Campbell is set for the return. Has pressure. Blocked it. And he 
he has it for Michigan at the five-yard line of Nebraska. David Arnold blocked it, and he and Ed Hood were scrambling for it, and they now, got it at the six. Now watch, watch the receiver on the outside. Now watch him lay out and time it perfectly. Number 15 timed it perfectly, and that's what most punt blockers don't do. They get a little too close to the kicker. Monty Robbins, the kicker, is the holder. So they go for three. And they get it. So even though Michigan moves their total to 20 to 14, it's a boost for the Nebraska defense because they hold from the six. They have to settle for a field goal. We'll be back in a moment. That's Tom Osborne in the red shirt talking to his offense right now, and he's got to solve some problems that Michigan's defense. Jamie Morris to the 40. Cuts back 30. 26 yard line. 26 yards on the play. Brian Washington with the tackle. First down. Jamie Morris now back in the ball game. And Morris jumps to the outside and goes to the three yard line. 14 yards for Jamie Morris. Chris Carr was there for the defense. On Brad Davis. Second down, goal to go on the option. Harbaugh leads, he's got it. Harbaugh scores his second touchdown. Michigan goes up 26 to 14 over Nebraska. This is the same play that Jim Harbaugh scored on before. It's an option play. There you see the option back. And he just takes it up to the inside and goes over the plane for a touchdown. His blockers in front, lots of time to throw, finds an opening. He gets to the one, and that's it. Brad Cochran met him, maybe a foot shy of the goal line. And there Quarterback sneak. With no sign. And Nebraska pulls within six points of Michigan with 2.29 left. And we'll be back. And I'm sure right now that the punter is going to feel the ball, wait for the rush, and step out of the end line and then come back. Because one of the things he wants to do is run some time off the clock. Let's see what he does. You're exactly right. That's what he's going to do, but they got to chase him. He'll stay back there. He's running time up. Then he steps away. And he ran it down to 122. Good call, Sam. Two points to Nebraska. And it's 27 to 23. And he ran off 17 seconds. 27-23. And it's not over yet. We're out of timeouts. And we have 122 left to go. Good call, Sam. 114 left to go. Taylor. He's got to get to the sideline to stop the clock. They say no. He went down and then slid out. So the clock is moving. At the 49-yard line of Michigan, Doug Mallory took him out. And then stopped the clock. Incomplete at the 45-yard line. Shepard, the intended receiver, Mike Mallory, was there for the defense, stopping the clock 39 seconds. It was Doug Mallory who was there. But they'll have an opportunity to move the ball upfield and stop the clock. The inability of Taylor to get out of bounds to play before the last cost Nebraska 27 seconds. There's a delayed play action. He's got the throw. Unleash it. Goes he. Boy, what an arm. He overthrows it. Intercepted in the end zone. And now they can take the
the full countdown. It's been a good one. Michigan had to come from behind. They trail at halftime 14 to 3, and Michigan is going to win it 27 to 23. And credit the Michigan defense in the third quarter. And Bo Schembechler has improved his bowl record. There it is, the final countdown. Once again, it has been a great fiesta ball for Sam Reticliano and Gary Gerald. I'm Charlie Jones. The final Michigan 27, Nebraska 23. Now let's